Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. Today on the summit, I have the privilege of visiting with Josh Kirkland, who has been introduced as the new head football coach at Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Coach, I watched that introduction back on December 20th. You're the 23rd person to take the helm of the program. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I couldn't be more excited to be here and, and uh, to be here in Weatherford and Southwestern. I think this is a, it's a great spot, ready to get things rolling. Coach, I, I, I said I watched the the introduction, and it was one of the things that was apparent from the start. You mentioned it, and, and then it was on display that, that you are an emotional person, but you, you I want you to talk about that and how that translates over into to what you do. But also, you mentioned the fact that Southwestern is a destination job. This is where you want to be. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so uh, I am I am an emotional person. I, I, I get uh, really excited. I, I, I tend to wear my emotions on my sleeve a little bit. Um, and, and a lot of times hard to hold back. <clears throat> so one of the, you know, one of the things that we talked about Southwestern being a destination job, uh, you know, one of the, one of the, the reasons for that is, is it reminds me a lot of home, uh, growing up in, in West Texas. And, and, uh, you know, I, I grew up, my dad was a cotton farmer and, uh, and was really fortunate to have some, some good people in my life, um, as I, as I grew up and, you know, one of the things about about Southwestern, I've got three little boys, and uh, they're ten, six, and three. And you know, as as much as I as I, I think that Southwestern is a great place, Weatherford itself was a big reason for this job. Um, you know, we 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 really prayed hard, my wife and I, um, to to get to a spot. We've chased the football all over the country for the last ten years, twelve years, whatever. And uh, we're getting to a point now where our kids have, have need to be some a place that's stable and. And a, and a good place to raise them. And, uh, you yeah, know, that was one of the things that stood out immediately when we came to visit uh, Weatherford on the interview was just the, the school systems, the churches, you know, everything about it was just a, it just kind of stood out and, and wanted to be a place that we wanted to raise our kids for a long time. And then when you talk about Southwestern, I mean, we've got some of the greatest facilities in all of Division II. Uh, you know, I, I, I kept asking people for what the red flags were here, uh, you know, for not, not winning games lately. And, uh, and I couldn't find it. I mean, you know, the, the, I, I couldn't find any major, not to say that we don't have our problems because I think every university does, but uh, there weren't anything that we're, we couldn't overcome. Uh, I don't think as a whole. And so we couldn't be more excited. We, you know, we, we moved here. Uh, people laugh. Uh, I think I told you all ago, I'm in the process of moving into my actual house that we bought, but uh, we wanted to be here bad enough that, that we drove Christmas day um, back to where we're moving from, loaded a U-Haul in 24 hours, and we're living in a two-bedroom duplex the next day uh, with our three <laughs> little kids. And so, uh, needless to say, we're ready to get into a, into the house, but we've enjoyed it, man. We've loved Weatherford uh, over the last two months and, and love Southwestern and love, love where we're headed. And uh, it's been great. Got plugged into our church here, uh, which is really important to my wife and I. And, and uh, kids are loving school, and, and things are just going really, really well. Well, Coach, you know, congratulations on being able to do that so quickly and be a part of the community. Uh, let's talk about football then, because you mentioned it is a program that hasn't won that many games recently. As a matter of fact, it actually a program that hasn't won a game since 2019. Now, that's a skewed number, 0-11 in 2011 or 2021, but the COVID year was 2020, so there were no games played there. But that having been said, uh, you're looking at a program that does need to make some changes and yeah. does need to make a turnaround. So how do you go into that first thing? Yeah, so there, there's two things to that. Number one, um, you know, recruiting and recruiting is the lifeblood of who we are, and and really uh, the lifeblood of who I am and and what I've been taught uh, by the guys that I've been fortunate enough to work for. Uh, I'm not going to come in here and call magic football plays. That that's not it's not what's going to happen. We've got to we've got to have the best players available, and I think that's one of the things that stood out to me about Southwestern immediately is this is an easy place to recruit to. Um, you know, if we can get kids here. Uh, they, they're really excited about what we've got going and, and the facilities that were already in place and the things that are going on um, as far as education that they're, they're going to get. And the, the farmers to school and all the different things that we've got going on here at Southwestern are, are unbelievable. And the second piece is coming in and, and changing the culture. I believe winning is a learned trait. I don't think it's something that just that just happens. I think you have to learn it. And, and that's one of the things we talk about within our program is, is, is we talk about winning. We talk about winning big, um, you know, not – not being patient, not talking about the future and, and how to do all that. We want to we want to talk about how we change our mindset right now. And so we're doing some different things, uh, whether it be uh, 6 a.m. workouts or, or different things like that that we've had to do along with uh, create some accountability that that uh, are things that are important to me. 
um, you know, holding the kids accountable in different ways. And so, uh, you know, I think that's one of the things that, that we've got to, we've got to do, you know, when you look at the, the games that were played in 2021, uh, six of those games were lost within a touchdown. And so really just changing our mindset and our culture are, are, are some of the big things. And I don't, I don't mean to sound coy and say that it's just that easy, but that's, that's some of the major things that we're trying to do um, to get things turned around here is, is just changing the mindset and the culture of a lot of our, a lot of our kids. I understand. We're speaking with Josh Kirkland now here on the summit on Midwest sports net, the new head football coach at Southwestern. And please do consider subscribing to the channel Midwest sports net. We talk a lot of small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond coach Kirkland, most recently in New Mexico highlands, 2020 and 2021. Although again, 2020, a COVID year, you've had your first signing day now, just three weeks ago at Southwestern. Tell us how that went. Talk about some new bulldogs. Oh, it went great. We, uh, you know, we were, we were, we got the job a little bit late. And so, you know, just a, a testament to my staff and, and how hard they worked. Um, you know, we, we signed, I want to say nine kids a semester uh, that we let them roll a semester and then, and then 19 uh, high school kids going in. And, and a lot of that is just a testament to, to the staff and how hard they worked and get on the road and getting the kids homes and, and, uh, you know, we had a battle. We, we, we didn't we didn't come in and, and say, hey, we're going to take these kids because they don't they don't have offers or, or whatever. We had to do a really good job of building relationships in a hurry um, and, and really working our tails off to to get in kids homes and meet with parents and get kids out here on, the, on visits and things like that. And so really, really excited about about all the kids. We did sign, um, you know, a few local kids, uh, which I think is going to be really good um, for us moving forward. Those kids and like I told somebody. We didn't sign those kids because they're local. We signed those kids because we think they can play. Uh, right. It's just a benefit that they're local. Uh, that that wasn't a, you know, we, we didn't go out and say, oh, we'll take you because you're you're close to us or anything like that. That that was that was something that we we evaluated them and, and decided that they could play here and, and went out and recruited them just like anyone else. Uh, and then got, of course, we got some Texas kids. Uh, my my background is Texas. Uh, I, I grew up there. Uh, coached high school ball there. Was a high school head coach there. Uh, started my my collegiate career the second time around with with Eric Morris there at Incarnate Word and, and recruited the heck out of Texas there and so uh, you know it was pretty easy to get in some of those some of those high schools and find out who who could play here and and uh, you know a testament to the to the high school coaches for putting us on the right kids. Coach, I know that there's been some inclement weather of late, and I know that you've probably already found out that Weatherford is a windy place, no doubt about that, but. Uh, with with that in mind, then it's gonna it's gonna warm up again sometime soon. Y'all are gonna get to head into the spring. Do you you see the practices going well? Are you, are you able to get things going? Are you gonna have a spring game this year? We are. So we start spring ball. Um, we start spring ball March nineteenth, I believe, uh, right after spring break, and uh, we're gonna get it in pretty fast. Spring game's gonna be April fourteenth uh, at seven p.m. Uh, so we're excited about that. Gonna do some fun stuff. Uh, there's some barbecue and, and tie in tie in with some community stuff right there. And, and so uh, we do, we, we know it is going to get warmer at some point. We don't know when that's, uh, <laughs> when that's coming. Uh, but, but Weatherford is, is fairly windy. Not again, doesn't bother me. I, I grew up in Leveland, Texas. And, you know, my wife and I talk about it all the time that, uh, you know, the wind blows very similar to there. Uh, the benefit is, is we don't have to, we don't have to eat dirt, uh, you know, out in Leveland, the, the dirt blows really bad too. So, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't bother us too bad, uh, being out here. We're just, we're so excited about the, about the town and, and, uh, everything that's going on. We hadn't, we hadn't complained much about the weather. Coach, then with that, with all that you've said, and, and you're talking about not looking too far into the future this year and, and wanting to win then for Swasu football fans, what do they expect? What should they expect to see in the fall of 2022? I think you're going to see a team that's going to compete their tails off. Um, you know, that's one thing at the heart of who I am. I, you know, when I talk to recruits, um, I, I want a, I want a kid that is, is the ultimate competitor. Um, I mean, I, I've, I've been known to, to uh, have some, have some heated arguments uh, on basketball courts and cornhole and anything else that I'm involved in, I want to win, uh, no matter what it is. I, I want to win at everything that I do. And so uh, I think our team's going to reflect that. We're doing a lot of different competitive uh, situations with our team right now, creating competition uh, amongst the team, number one. And so I think you're going to see that um, on the field. You're going to see a team that's disciplined. Uh, we focus a lot on doing little things right. And, and, and I'm talking about little bitty things, uh, you know, so you're going to see, 
uh, hopefully a very disciplined team. You're going to see a high octane offense. We're going to go at a lightning pace. Uh, we are, are, I think, uh, in twenty in 2021 at, at Highlands, we averaged 94 snaps a game. Uh, I think we were the the, the number one uh, offense in the country for snaps in the game, and and so you're going to see that. And, uh, and and then defensively, we're going to be very, very aggressive. Uh, we're going to tackle the ball well. Uh, you know, I, I think that special teams, we're going to be really good on teams. And, and football is not rocket science. I think, you know, we're, we're, if you're really good on teams and you, you tackle well and you block well, you're going to you're going to be in a lot of ball games. Well, Coach, that sounds like it should be fun to watch then. The fans should have a good time when they come out and watch Southwestern play in 2022 under the new head coach, Josh Kirkland. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today here. Success to you all this season, and we appreciate you being here with us on the Summit. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Go dogs.